Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meyer here with the second installment of the thematic structure series. This video is about the sentence or sentential phrase structure. Let's get started. What is a sentence? A sentence is a musical theme built of two sections, the presentation and the continuation. The presentation consists of a repeated basic idea generally in the context of a tonic prolongation. The continuation is characterized by a breaking down or fragmentation of that basic idea through an increase in rhythmic activity, sometimes sequencing of those fragments, and leading to a cadence, which closes the theme. In a previous video, we have discussed the periodic phrase structure, which features two cadence points in this thematic model. However, in contrast, the sentence only has one cadence at the end of the model. Let's look at an example sentence from Beethoven's Piano Sonata in F minor. Let's listen first. In blue, we can see the first half of the sentence, which is the presentation. The second half, in green, is the continuation. This example bisects the eight measures into groups of four plus four, as is often the case for sentences. But let's look at the component parts to really understand the makeup of this theme. In measures one through four, we see the basic idea leaping quarter notes ending in a 16th note triplet figure. The same idea is presented again, this time at the level of the dominant, but maintains the rhythmic and contour features of the original. By definition, the presentation shows two basic idea presentations before continuing on. In the first measure of the continuation, the 16th note triplet figure is fragmented from the original basic idea. In the first measure of the second system, we see the fragmentation has taken up a major second in a sequenced fragment. The harmonic rhythm speeds up to the final two measures, and our cadential progression finishes out the theme with a half cadence. Listen again and pay close attention to each individual segment of this sentential theme. Now that you know about how sentences work, let's discuss a few different flavors you might find when analyzing this type of theme. The first is exact repetition. A basic idea is repeated exactly when it is harmonized like its original statement. Although this generally means that the tonic function is harmonizing both statements of the basic idea, the repetition usually retains the fundamental melodic shape as well, although it may become ornamented in its repetition. Listen to this example from Mozart's Piano Sonata in C. Here are the presentation and continuation sections of this sentence. Above, you can see the basic idea and its exact repetition in the presentation. Okay, there's a tiny ornamentation in the repetition of the basic idea, but it is still an exact repetition because the harmony under each basic idea is repeated. The continuation features two fragmentations of the basic idea until the cadence at the end. Listen once more to this sentence with an exact restatement of the basic idea. If the basic idea is not repeated exactly, it can be repeated sequentially if the entire melodic harmonic content is transposed to a different scale degree. 
Generally, both the melody and its harmonic support are transposed by the same interval. Listen to this example from Beethoven's Piano Sonata in G for a sequenced basic idea within the presentation. You'll notice the basic idea in the presentation in G major here. In the repetition, we see the idea is sequenced up a second in both the melody and harmony. The continuation features a fragmentation of the basic idea and ends in a full cadence in G. Listen once more to this theme with a sequenced basic idea. The final variation of the presentation material within a sentence features a call and response of the basic idea. The statement and response repetition brings an initial tonic version of the basic idea followed by a dominant version of that basic idea. Be aware that this differs from the sequential version in that a sequence involves transposing both melody and harmony whereas the statement and response involves the dominant harmony underlying the repetition. Many statement response repetitions involve varying the melody to accommodate that change in the harmony. So it will look like a dominant melody. Just analyze the chords beneath the response to determine whether you have a sequential or a statement and response repetition of your basic idea. Let's listen to the trio of Haydn's Piano Sonata in G for an example of a statement and response basic idea. Here's our basic idea statement. It's supported by a tonic harmony in G minor. Here's the response repetition, this time being supported by dominant harmony. We can see that the two statements begin similarly, but the response repetition has to be modified to fit that D major harmony. The continuation features fragmentation and a half cadence in G minor. Listen once more to reaffirm the statement and response basic idea repetition in the presentation of this theme. Now it's your turn to practice. Identify the presentation and continuation sections of this sentence theme. Try to identify which type of basic idea repetition is heard here. And finally, identify the fragmentation and cadence of the continuation. Pause the video after the audio of Haydn's Piano Sonata in B-flat if you need more time. You should have found the presentation and continuations here. The basic idea is found in the first two measures, and the exact restatement is in the following two measures. You may have noticed that the melody was doubled a third above in the restatement. This is an exact restatement because the harmony remains the same from the first statement. The fragmentation and cadence are found in the continuation, which ends in a half cadence in B flat major. Listen once more to confirm your reading of this theme. Here's what we learned about the theme known as the sentence. 
It features two larger parts called the presentation and the continuation. The presentation features a basic idea which is repeated either exactly in sequence or in a statement and response. The continuation is an outplaying of the basic idea and features fragmentation, sometimes even in sequence, and a cadential progression. This cadential progression can be of any strength, half cadence or full cadence. However, unlike the periodic phrase structure, which features two cadences, the hallmark of the sentence is just one cadence. Now you can start analyzing common practice music for both period and sentence phrase structures. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.